As we all know, water is one of those natural resources that is constantly in danger of contamination. We had the opportunity to petition for Colorado's water safety efforts. Amelia had an insightful conversation with chair of the Colorado chapter of the Sierra Club, Fran Silva Blaney and Rob Billet, attorney and author of the book Exposure. His story is actually the basis for the film Dark Waters, starring Mark Ruffalo. Fran, let's start with you. Let's get the basics of what the Sierra Club's all about. Sure, thank you for having me. So the Sierra Club is the largest grassroots environmental organization in the country. Uh, Sierra Club was founded in 1892 in California. And it was founded by people who wanted to hold wilderness outings. We champion solutions to climate change. We work for clean air, safe water, and land protections. And we also fight for environmental and social justice. Well, and here in Colorado, these are such important topics, as we all know. And Rob, we want to switch it over to you because you're an author and an expert on this subject. So let's talk about the book you wrote and how it all plays in with Colorado's water sources. Yeah, I uh, recently uh, authored a book called Exposure, um, and it really tries to, to bring together in one place for everybody the history of how we found out about the existence of these chemicals we now call forever chemicals that unfortunately now have uh, managed to find their way into drinking water all over the country, all over the world, in the blood of living things all over the planet. Uh, because they've been used in just a vast variety of different uh, consumer products over the last several decades. Uh, Stain-resistant carpeting, clothing, food wrappers, nonstick cookware. Hopefully that history will help people realize that you know, we, we know a lot and there's more than enough information now to move forward and do what we can to stop the further spread of these chemicals. Recently, you've teamed up with the Sierra Club to get this message out to Coloradans as well as the wider audience as a whole. So what is that that real call to action we want to get across to our audience? Well, hopefully, I think when folks read the book and when they see the movie, they're able to realize that this is a problem that affects all of us. This is not just a problem out in West Virginia. This is a problem here in Colorado and all over the country. Well, Fran, I know that the Sierra Club has an ask of Coloradans as we get more involved. So let us know what that is. And also, as we wrap up, let us know where we can learn more about the Sierra Club. Sure. Thanks for asking. So on July 13 and 14 of this year, the Colorado Water Quality Control Commission is going to vote on whether or not to adopt a narrative water policy to address PFAS contamination in our state. And this policy will allow the state to limit discharges of PFAS into Colorado waters. Um, so we're asking that people um, go to the Water Quality Control Commission website and let them know that we want them to pass strong public health protections. All right, well, wonderful. Thank you both so much for joining us here on Colorado and Company, and we wish you all the best. Here are a few websites for you to jot down. To join the petition for clean water in Colorado, go to CSWAB, like CSWAB, dot org slash PFAS petition. Learn more about conservation efforts being done by the Sierra Club at sierraclub.org. And for more on Rob Billet and the movie Dark Waters, go to darkwaterscosplashthat.com.